ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Brink of Speed. As you can see, I am in a completely different garage than my garage, uh, quite a bit bigger. And obviously you saw that gorgeous 1969 Z28 Camaro sitting there uh, next to the Captain America C8. But today I'm super excited. I'm actually in Colorado. This is where I'm from and I'm at right now about 7,000 feet. So because I'm up that high, I wanted to do something that I don't think anyone else has ever done. This will be the first time you'll ever see a video like this on YouTube, and that is test out the performance of the 2020 CA Corvette at high altitude. As most of you will know that uh, being at about you know 5,000 or above feet above uh, sea level, will actually decrease your power 20 to 30 percent depending on how high you are and so this uh, basically 500 horsepower engine is decreased anywhere from 100 to 150 less horsepower than it has right now so i'm very anxious to see what the zero to 60 times are going to be at this high of an altitude and if i have the chance to do a quarter mile i'm really anxious to see what the quarter mile will be at this high of an altitude so let's not waste any time let's get in the captain america c8 and check out what these times are going to look like all right ladies and gentlemen so as you can see uh colorado is a beautiful beautiful place um, i got some really cool drone footage that you're looking at right now uh, of me driving through uh, a absolutely beautiful neighborhood here in colorado but uh, I want to ask you guys all a question. I want to ask you, what do you think this car is going to do zero to 60 in uh, at you know, basically 7,000 feet? Um, I, I could go down to a little bit of a lower elevation, uh, right around like 6,200 feet uh, down in Colorado Springs. I'm closer to Monument right now. And that's why I'm so high up. Monument, I think, is at 8,000. But leave a comment below letting me know what you think uh, this car is going to do the 0-60 to 60 and maybe even quarter mile in. I, I don't know if we'll be able to test the quarter mile or not. I do have an area in mind that uh, is really perfect for both. But it'll just depend on the traffic situation. There shouldn't be any, but it'll just depend on all that. So, so hang tight, and uh, you'll be seeing some performance time soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that right there is what I'm talking about, 3.7 seconds. And that's the first pull that I've done, zero to 60. Again, like I said, uh, I am at 7,000 plus feet, but what that does is that stops the rear tires from spinning any at all. So this car truly feels like uh, an all wheel drive vehicle. So it's uh, pretty spectacular to get 3.7 seconds it's only about a second slower than my best time at sea level so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do quite a few more runs and then I'll get back on here and talk to you about the results gentlemen so I'm super excited to report to you guys and obviously you've already seen the 0 to 60 times but I'm super excited to report to you that I was able to get 
quite a few 3.6 second zero to 60 times. To me, that is absolutely outstanding that I'm at, you know, 7,000 plus feet and that's just incredible. I mean, that shows you that even with 350 to 400 horsepower, this car is still capable of doing 3.6, 3.7060s. Now, as you saw there, there were a couple of four second zero to 60 times. And, you know, that was probably the result of my car heating up, uh, you know, from doing just multiple zero to 60s over and over and over again. But guys, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you enjoyed getting to see what this car is capable of doing at high altitude. Now, I wasn't able to do any quarter mile runs. There was way too much traffic out for one thing. And the road that I was going to do these runs on was under construction. So there was no way possible that I was gonna have any luck with that. Uh, it was jam packed with traffic, plus the road was all messed up. So there was no way I was go going to that road. Now, the road that I ended up going on had some nice flat straightaways, but they were super short. They were basically only long enough to get zero to 60, maybe zero to 70 done. And so that's why I was only able to get that zero to 60 done for you guys. But I hope you enjoyed it. If so, give me a big thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment down below letting me know if you want more high altitude uh, performance videos done and let me know if you like the aerial footage that you're seeing during all of this right now I wanted to get some awesome drone footage of Captain America against Pikes Peak now I am a long ways away from Pikes Peak but as you can see it looks absolutely gorgeous in the background right now it's a little bit smoggy for some reason so you're not seeing a crystal clear view of Pikes Peak, but you're still getting the beautiful view of the mountains in the background of Captain America. And as you saw, you're seeing uh, some cattle. Uh, I'm in ranch land right now. And so you're seeing that and some ranch land. So some beautiful, beautiful views. But again, let me know if this is something that you want to see. If you want to see more high performance videos, I do have a couple of videos coming your way soon that'll be excellent content, excellent surprises, um, and one of them will be definitely a first on the channel. So anyway, that's going to wrap this up. Again, if you enjoyed the video, give me a big thumbs up. If you have not joined this wonderful Brink of Speed community, please consider subscribing and hitting that red subscribe and bell notification so that you're notified when my new content comes out. I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you out on the road.